Right everyone, Weapon Collector here. Right, it's another £10 weapon build challenge. So today's video is from Serene Madness. If you've never seen Paul's channel, um, he's well worth checking out. He does quite a lot of weapon related stuff, reviews, makes his own stuff. And yeah, very interesting channel. Does some just general sort of talking to the camera, you know what I mean. Discussion kind of stuff, but yeah. All weapon related, uh, to a degree anyway. Yeah, he's got a couple of other channels actually. Food channel and a film channel possibly. Um, but yeah. Dream Madness, well worth checking out. That's what the, uh, that's what this little logo is here. That's uh, Paul's channel logo. So yeah. Paul's will be coming up. There's about four or five more to come yet. And if you still want to join in, feel free. I'll just keep this going now. Alright, so looking forward to seeing what you make, Paul. There you go, here's Paul. How you doing everybody? Welcome back to Serene Madness. Um, this video is my response to uh, Mike the Weapons Collector challenge to build a homemade weapon for 10 pounds, under 10 pounds, which is, I'm not sure what the equivalent is there in the net in the States, but it's like 12, 15 bucks equivalent, I guess. Uh, so I'm basically just going to say 10 bucks. Um, 10 pounds, $10, it's kind of the same thing. Um, Anyway, uh, I've been watching all the other videos and trying to come up with some ideas. I was going to do the video earlier, but I've just been kind of busy doing other stuff. Um, and just kind of racking my brains to try, try to come up with something good and different and unique. Um, I've watched several, like I said, I watched several, the several other videos that were already done. And um, I was originally going to do a, um, a double flail, a homemade flail, but somebody just did one, so that that idea kind of went out the window. All the stuff I got, I didn't have to spend any money on. It was all sourced from my shop with stuff that I had lying around, so um, it's just stuff that I had lying around. I'll show you what, I, what I'm going to do. Um, I have two different color paracord here. Um, there's a darker one and a lighter one. Um, you really can't tell the difference. One's darker and one's lighter. Um, basically the same type. It's like a gray camo. Um, actually, that's not showing me because I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, here we go. One's darker and one's lighter. You really can't. You may be able to tell the difference. Um, so there you go. So I'm going to form a handle. There's going to be a key ring on the end of it. And here's the key ring. Um, and then the other end is going to be attached to this eye bolt. And the eye bolt is going to be attached to this oblong shaped wooden ball that I got off of an old rocking chair it was a finial on the top of a rocking chair that I cut up years ago for other projects and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these I have a whole pile of these sheet metal screws wall, wall drywall screws whatever you want to call them and I'm going to measure them all out and I'm going to insert them all over this ball to make spikies, spikes like a star, like a spike ball. And what I'm, the way I'm going to do it is I'm not going to actually film me making it because um, it'll just take too long and it'll be kind of boring. So what I will do is I will make it in sections. I will make it in steps and take photos of each step and 
of it in progress and then I'll do like a slideshow attached to this video uh, so you can see the progression of it and then at the end I'll do like a little demonstration of it kind of thing so here we go back um, finished it up here it is I made a paracord mace flail I know one or two other people made flails and I was trying to think of something different to make um, so everything that I used was sourced from my from stuff I had lying around so all recycled stuff I have two different color um, pieces of paracord um, a lighter and a darker uh, camo and uh, I made a handle right here and a paracord. There's a ring on the end. In fact, whatever you want to hang it off or something. Um, I had an eye bolt, and I originally had a ball, a wooden ball, and I was going to put spikes all over it. And I didn't like it. It'll it'll show up in the slideshow. Oh, it's in the slideshow. Um, I didn't like it, so. I looked through my stuff and I found this finial piece of uh, finial that came off of an old hat rack that I had in my pots bins in my pots bin. So I use that. Um, later on, I think what I'm going to do is probably paint it and then maybe add some spikes to it. I don't know. And pretty it up for later on. And uh, so there you go. Power code makes flill. Hope you like it. And uh, that's it. There's a video, like, subscribe, um, hit the bell button, get my feeds, and comment in the description box below if you like this thing or not. Um, I've been doing a lot of paracord stuff lately, just trying to keep busy. Um, I haven't really been doing any videos because I've been busy for the past couple weeks. Just trying to keep busy and just trying to catch up with stuff around the house. Um, so there. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, that's it. Find your serene and mad world. I'm out.